Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ramon Preston Show. We are live right here in the beautiful Buckhead community of Atlanta. This is the day, the Wednesday that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice. We are already rejoicing and we're glad in it. So happy, happy Wednesday. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ramon Preston Show. Uh, if you don't know, now you know. My name is Ramon Preston and I am the host of the Ramon Preston Show. And we are live right here on this beautiful Wednesday here in the beautiful Buckhead community of Atlanta. I want to welcome you to the Ramon Preston Show. If you would be so kind, please do me a favor. Hit the like button. Mm -hmm. Hit the share button. Mm -hmm. And tag Lolly Dolly everybody and let them know Ramon Preston, the squad, and the Ramon Preston Show, we are live right here on this beautiful Wednesday, W-I-N-S day. And just in case, just in case you're wondering, I am here live in person. I was out of the area, literally out of state last week for my anniversary all week with my beautiful wife, the love of my life. And now I am back in the office this week, moving and shaking, ready to give you the game. So please hit the like button, hit the share button, tag somebody, let them know that Ramon Preston is live on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September the 21st, 2022. So you can know I'm here for show. This is me live. This is not a replay. This is not a recording. This your boy live today, Wednesday, September the 21st, 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time right here in the Buckhead community of Atlanta. Also, I want you to put in the comments what city you're watching me from. Put in the comments what city you're watching me from. I've got some very, very important information that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So I want you to get your pens, your notepads, or another device so that you can take some good notes because I want to give you the game. I'm going to be sharing with you five, five, five things to do before 2023. I mean, it's like literally almost unbelievable to think that today is September the 21st. We only have a few more days remaining in this month and we're going to be in the final fourth quarter of 2022. So I want to share with you five things to do before 2023. Listen, you only got three months and a few days remaining in this year. And so you got to make these few months, these 14, 15 weeks remaining in this year, you got to make them count. So I'm going to share with you five things you need to do again. But before I do hit the like button, hit the share button, bring your family members, your friends, people that you know who need some information for their businesses, for their finances, for their lives, invite them to join you today on the Ramon Preston Show. If you don't know, my name is Ramon Preston. I'm the host of the Ramon Preston Show. And unless I'm out of town like I was all last week, we show up here every Monday through Friday, 12 o'clock noon, or unless I'm working with a client, like literally this past Monday and yesterday, I was here in the office, uh, but we had clients lined up all this week, <clears throat> especially because I was out of town last week. So now that I'm back, I'm here, I'm free. It's the 12 o'clock hour, we're live. And this is what we do every Monday through Friday, 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. I literally, no matter what I'm doing, if I can get away from some type of work, I wanna show up here in person and I wanna share information with you that I know can help you start, structure, and scale your business, your ministry, your income streams, your wealth building dreams. Now, what qualifies me to share information with you to help you start, structure, and scale your business or your finances? Well, what qualifies me is that I've done it for myself. I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for many clients and students who are part of our programs, and I wanna do it for you, at least give you the information and the resources so that you can get it done for yourself. So today I'm talking about five things to do, 
five things to do before 2023. And again, we've got 14 weeks remaining in this year and you got to make a decision, especially if you plan on becoming financially free, especially if you plan on having a successful business, you got to make a decision. And the decision is this, am I willing and am I wanting to get to my next level? If you're willing to do what you need to do, if you are wanting to do what you got to do, then guess what? All you need is the information so that you could take that information and complement it with action. So I'm going to share with you five things to do before 2023. All right. So if you're taking notes, I want you to write these five things down, five things to do before 2023. And keep in mind, you only got 14 weeks left, bruh, a uh, sus. You only got 14 weeks left. So here are the five things I'm saying you should be thinking about doing and getting them done before 2023. Okay. If you're taking notes, I want you to write these five things down. We'll go through them step by step. Number one, develop a financial plan. for at least the next 18 to 24 months. This is the first thing you need to do. All right. I'm giving you five things to do before 2023. The first thing you need to do is develop a financial plan for the next at least 18 to 24 months. So if you take some time to sit down and put a solid financial plan together for the next 18 to 24 months, beginning right now in September, what that's going to do is it's going to take you out to at least the second quarter or maybe the third quarter of 2024. Okay. So today is Wednesday, September the 27th, 21st, right? Okay. So if you, if you within the next week or so before you get into October, if you put together a solid 18 to 24 month financial plan, if you sit down and put a solid financial plan together for the next 18 to 24 months, then that's going to assure you that you have a clear idea on where you want to go and what you want to accomplish financially between now and at least the first to second quarter of 2024. So you've got to do this. Like at some point, if you don't put a plan together as some, as some say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So if you don't at some point sit down and take the time out to really think about what your financial plan needs to be, then most likely you never get there because you don't really know what it's going to take to get there because you haven't really done the math. So we're going to take a few minutes to walk through this first step, but I want you to write this down. The first thing to do before 2023 is to develop a financial plan for the next 18 to 24 months. Okay. Hopefully you've written that down. If you didn't, I want you to come back to it. So now when we think about, I'll just leave this here. So now when we think about a financial plan, when we think about a financial plan, this is what I want to take a moment and talk to you about, because this is number one. When we think about a, a financial plan, let me see here. When we think about a financial plan, what do we, what do we, what do we need to be thinking about? Well, we need to be thinking about the dollar amount that you would like to have, or at least be making between now and let's say 2024, if you put together an 18 to 24 month plan. Okay. So that's by 2024. You want to be thinking about how much money do you want to be making between now and then. So if you had 18 to 24 months to put a financial plan together, you need to be thinking about how much money you want to be making. Okay. And you got to do the math on this. Remember, I say it all the time. When you start putting plans together, you don't want to just qualify those plans with information 
basically writing stuff down saying, I want to be a millionaire by the end of the year, or I want to make 50 grand by the end of the year, or I want to make $10,000 a month of passive income, or I just want to make $4,000 a month in my business. That ain't necessarily a financial plan. That's the information side, but now you got to quantify it with mathematics. So you qualify it with information, but then you got to quantify it with math. And so what that looks like is your financial plan, if you know you're going to put a two year, 18 to 24 month plan together, that means what you need to do is you need to look at 2023 and you need to look at 2024 as years, let's say, and you need to decide how much money do you want to make, okay? So there's a want, there's a dollar amount, and then you need to look at how much money you need to make. So there's a need. So for example, in 2023 and 2024, if you put a two year, a two year financial plan together beginning now, you may say, I want to make a hundred thousand. Okay, well, write that down. Because see, it's all about math. Even before you start implementing certain strategies, even before you start moving towards certain actions and efforts, you have to have a clear financial plan already in your mind. And to have a clear financial plan is not just you having a whole lot of words written down talking about what you finna do and what you believe in God to help you do and what you're praying about getting done. It's not just you qualifying it with information. It's also you quantifying it with math. You got to see the numbers that's associated to what your financial plan is. So you should have a number showing what you want to make each year for the next two years. And you should have a number showing what you need to make. Now, why do you want to have both numbers? Well, a lot of times you may want to make a hundred grand and you're going to set your targets for your financial plan to catch that number, to hit that number. But you also need to know what is your worst case scenario. So let's say if you got $60,000 worth of bills and expenses that you have to have, then that means you need at least 60 grand for the next year. Now, again, if you're working a job, this number may change because if you want to make a hundred grand each year and you know you need to make 60 just to live, then that's going to be your worst case scenario. You got to have 60 grand. If you're working a job and you're making 20 or 30, then that may mean you got to make up the difference with some type of side hustle. If you're a full-time entrepreneur and this is your target, for the next two years of what you want, then what you have to start with is the number. You can't just be vague and, oh, I just want to be financially free. What does that number look like? And it's not that you can't be unrealistic because if it was a, a hundred thousand or even if it was, let's move that and let's put a million. Okay. It could be a million dollars. Well, guess what? If it's a million dollars, it's just a million, but you still got to be willing to do the math. So whatever the number is that you want to make for the next two years, if you putting a plan together and the number is that you need to make, you want to at least be able to take that number and then you want to start doing the math on that number. So here's how you do the math on that number. So whether the number for your next two year financial plan is a hundred grand, a year or whether it's 1 million a year for the next two years, whatever that number is. Now you need to look at that number that you put as a financial target in your plan for the next two years. And you need to associate your products and services to this number. So this is why I like to walk all of my clients through our business assessment because one one portion of our business assessment is for, for us to show you how to take your products and your services and look at what your median product and service is. For example, if you have products that you can sell for $50 and then you got products that you can sell for $5,000,
and then you got products that you can sell for five hundred dollars which product will be your median product well median is middle so that means when I'm looking at my financial target to make a hundred thousand or a million a year I've got to put that number against my median product so you can't say oh I want to make a hundred grand and I'm gonna sell let's say twenty five thousand dollar products you're being unrealistic for real because all of your products ain't gonna be sold at five thousand dollars if that's your top product so you want to take your middle product and you want to divide that into your hundred thousand to get an idea of how many median products would I need to sell in a year in order to make a hundred thousand if my financial plan is based on making a hundred thousand dollars a year okay and so of course that would be what two hundred five hundred dollar products five hundred times two hundred that's a hundred thousand so that would mean you would need to sell two hundred products at five hundred dollars five hundred dollars a piece in order to make a hundred thousand but if you're doing the math it makes it easier when you quantify it I have a financial plan that I want to make a hundred grand a year for the next two years and I have several products and my median product is a five hundred dollar product so that means every year for the next two years I need to sell at least two hundred products now all I need to look at is okay if I need to sell two hundred five hundred dollar products in a year I got to divide that by 12 so that means I need to sell 16 products a month you see how I'm doing the math because now I'm starting to understand wow in order for me to make a hundred thousand dollars a year using the dollar amount of the products and services that I sell this is how many products a month I need to sell this is 200 a year this is 16 a month and that would be about four a week but it's all a numbers game because if now you did that math and you know wow I need to wake up every day and throughout each week I need to sell four five hundred dollar products a week in order to make a hundred thousand a year now you need to do the math on how many leads do I need how many phone calls do I need to make how many emails do I need to send out how many free offers do I need to give away how many people do I need to talk to and touch in order to just sell one product so if you start doing the math and you realize wow it took me 20 emails it took me 10 presentations it took me 50 phone calls just to sell one product now you can almost project how many emails presentations and phone calls it's going to take to sell four a week so if you do the math on that just by selling one you can just start mathematically calculating wow it took me 20 20 uh, emails it took me it took me 20 let's see it took me uh come on baby don't start messing up on me so let's just say it took me 20 emails this is just an example I'm showing you it took me five presentations it took me 50 phone calls to sell just one of these $500 products well that means in order for me to sell four I need to times that by four that would be 80 emails, 20 presentations, and 200 calls to sell for. So now all of a sudden everything becomes a mathematical game. This is how you put together a real financial plan. Now of course if you're not a business owner it don't work like that. So now you got to look at your job and how much you make on your job but you also have to look at a side hustle whether it's a commission based side hustle a 1099 contracting opportunity or you start in a legitimate business with products and services whether you own the products or whether you're using the products but guess what nevertheless this is still the first thing to do before 2023 is to put a financial plan in place for at least the next 18 to 24 months okay so that's number one let's get to number two number two second thing to do before 2023 number two 
is to start a business is to start a business. Now for me, when I say starting a business, I'm going to recommend that you start a business preferably using the holding company concept. Okay? So that means that means when you're when I'm talking about using the holding company concept, what I'm referring to is not just you starting a holding company. I'm also referring to you using this business system or this LLC that you're calling a business. You use it in a way that you can actually leverage your, your, your position in the marketplace. Now, I know this could be a little complicated, so I'm gonna just kind of take my time and, and break it down. So number two, the second thing you need to do before 2023 is start a business, all right? So of course, when I say start a business, we're talking about you having an LLC. But let's just say you already have an LLC, but you don't have a holding company. Well, you can still start a holding company and just transfer the ownership of your current LLC to your holding company so that you can work this concept. Or maybe you wanna just take your current LLC and make it a holding company. Well, how do you even do either or? It's about you getting educated about holding companies. If you don't know enough about holding companies, even if you start a holding company, you ain't gonna know what to do with it. I talk to a lot of people who tell me, oh, I got my holding company already set up. So what are you doing with it? Well, I ain't did nothing with it yet. I just got my articles of organization. I got my, I got my, uh, my EIN number. Uh, uh, I got my Duns and Bradstreet. But what have you done with the business entity that you're calling a LLC or a holding company or whatever the name of your business is? You, you can't do anything with it if you don't know what to do with it. So I'm not just saying start a business in terms of filing and forming paperwork, getting an EIN, getting a Duns and Bradstreet, opening up a bank account, trying to get a Uline or a Quail account. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you learning the fundamentals of business ownership, meaning that you have to learn about concepts like this holding company so that you can start developing assets within your business. So how do you develop your assets? Well, you develop products, services, intellectual assets. It may be other assets that you have like ideas that you want to start developing under this business system and start separating them as they continue to grow. But for starters, when you do have a business set up, I'm gonna always recommend that you start a holding company, then you start an operating company because you won't never have to circle back around in three or four years and do it. That's what a lot of big companies do. Like just within the last few years, we saw companies like uh, Google, they started a holding company called Alphabet and they took the ownership of Google and the ownership of YouTube and they put it under the holding company. So it's the same concept. Amazon operates like a holding company. Most of these major corporations operate as holding companies. A lot of them didn't start that way. They waited till they got big enough and then they transitioned because it was better for them for tax purposes and for wealth pres preservation and for them to just reallocate these resources within their organization. All I'm saying to you is, instead of you waiting for a time that may never come, why don't you do it right the first time? So this is gonna be critical for you to start a business, preferably using a holding company. Now, what if you're an employee? What would be your second step? Here's what your second step is as an employee. Your second step should be to look for more hours to work. <laughs> I know you like, come on, bro. What you mean to tell me I need to look for more hours to work? Yes, you need to look for more hours to work. So your second step as an employee, as an employee, your second step should be to look for more hours to work and, and, I'll say and or, 
and or look for, this is, this is the second part of this, look for commission opportunities. So if you are an employee and you do not have a business, the second step for you after you put your financial plan together, because remember, if you put your financial plan together and you know the dollar amount that you want to make every year for the next two years, it's going to have a lot to do with how you implement and execute the second thing I'm telling you to do. Most of the times you're not going to look for more work or look for commission opportunities as an employee if you don't have the right financial plan because you don't really know why you work and more for. And if you work more and make more money without a financial plan, you just going to spend more money on the things that are already taking your current income and you ain't going to see where your extra money going. Have you ever been through that? It's because you do not have a financial plan. You haven't done number one. You didn't put a financial plan in place. And because you didn't put a financial plan in place, you really never did the math on what you really want and what you really need numerically. So doing this doesn't matter. So if you do number one the right way, it's going to be easier for you as an employee to look for more hours to work. And if you keep saying to yourself, well, I ain't got no more time. Yeah, you do. You waste a lot of your time on social media. You waste a lot of your time Netflixing and watching movies. You waste a lot of your time watching TV. Well, don't I need a life? Well, you can decide. Do you want the life you have or do you want another life based on you making sacrifices? If you keep doing the same things you've done, and you know you're not where you're supposed to be or want to be or need to be financially, it's because you're not giving yourself enough time to educate, to train, to deploy more actions, and to utilize that time in things that can make you more money. It's just as simple as that. Okay? The people who are winning and succeeding are taking their most valuable assets of time and deploying that time towards getting better at what they do, whether it's skill sets, mindsets, whatever the things are, so they can make more money. Okay? So that's number two. All right? Here's number three. The third thing I want you to do before 2023 is to learn. skills that are considered recession proof. I want you to learn recession proof skills. Now, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, I'm going to tell you right now, two of the most powerful, most impactful, recession proof skills that you should be learning are sales and marketing point blank period. Okay. These are the two recession proof skills that you should be learning as a entrepreneur and business owner. And here's the truth. If you are an employee, looking to work more hours and or looking for commission based opportunities, learning these two skills will ensure, listen to me, learning these two skills will ensure that you will never be without a job and that you will never not have money. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think you just missed it. I'm gonna have to sit down on that one. Cause I don't know if you caught what I just said. What I just said is based on the third thing you need to do before this year ends, which is learn skills that are recession proof. I'm telling you two of the most powerful, impactful recession proof skills are sales and marketing. And if I had to put one before the other, whew, it's hard because marketing is critical even to your sales. But sales gives you that grit and that grind and that ability to actually generate revenue. If you get good at sales and marketing, you will never be without a job. I don't care what type of economic climate you're in. I don't care what technology does, where it goes. I don't care how economies move, industries shift. If you learn 
sales. If you learn marketing, you will have learned two of the most recession proof skills that exist on this planet, point blank period. And people who know how to sell and market are people that are never without jobs and they are people that are with, never without money. Point blank period. If they ain't got no job or no money and they good at that, they lying to themselves. They're not good at that because they can't even sell themselves to an employer, <laughs> right? or to a client or customer. They just lying about them being good. There's no person on this planet that I know of who is amazing at sales and marketing that doesn't have a job and ain't making no money, especially in today's world. So that's number three. Man, if y'all got some questions, I want you to drop the questions in the comments because I'm showing you what you need to do. So don't be calling me and emailing me and inboxing me and joining me at events in the future saying, man, you told me back in 2022, bruh, what I needed to do. I don't know why I didn't listen to you. I thought you were just another internet guru lying to us, trying to finesse us. But the truth is what you said actually was true and it's actually working. Duh. That's why I'm giving it to you because I know what it took for me to get to where I am. I know what it's taken for a lot of people that I work with to get to where they are. And we see progress. We see movement. We see momentum. We see change. We ain't thinking about that other stuff. We're talking about things that are, that are going to guarantee you get money, you become financially free, you get your family in a situation where y'all can be stable and you can live the way you know God wants you to live. If that's what you want, I'm telling you, follow along with what I'm giving you to do. All right, number four. The fourth thing to do before 2023 is number four, familiarize yourself with the most important this is this is a big word technological platforms I hope you're writing this down because I'm giving you free game the fourth thing to do before 2023 is to familiarize yourself with the most important technological platforms. I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute, but I want you to write that down. Okay. And by the way, if you have any questions on anything that I'm talking about today, I want you to drop the questions in the comments or you're always free to reach out to us. We're here every day, all day, ready to answer your questions and ready to assist you. So just as an FYI, if you don't know, all you have to do is either call or text this number. We have, we have a few numbers available for you, for you to call and text at any time. That's one of the numbers you can call or you could text. Okay. 404-478-7213. I want you to take that number. 404-478-7213. Say it with me. 404-478-7213. All right, you got it? Let's go back to number four. Fourth thing to do before 2023. Familiarize yourself with the most important technological platforms. If you are a business owner, if you're a minister, if you're a preacher, a pastor, a speaker, an influencer, if you're anything on a leadership level, listen to me, you have to become familiar with the most important technological platforms that exist today. We have already entered into the digitization of society. Do you understand me? Let me say it again, just in case you missed it. We have already, already entered into the digitization of society. That means we are in a digital world. Almost everything that you do today is connected to a digital platform for technology. 
whether it's your phone, whether it's you watching me, whether it's what you listen to, how we read, how we watch, how we observe, how we engage, we're in a digital world, okay? And so if you're gonna be a successful leader, a successful entrepreneur, a successful influencer, a successful speaker, a successful coach, consultant, trainer, CEO, anything, you have to become familiar with the most important technological platforms. All right, now I'm gonna share with you a few platforms that, that I'm talking about so that you can understand more clearly what I mean. So what do you mean, Ramon, when you say the most important technological platforms? The most important technological platforms. What are some of the most important technological platforms? Well, social media, social media. Like if you are a coach, a consultant, a educator, a trainer, a speaker, and you're not on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, if you ain't, if you ain't doing the things that you see me doing right now, you're losing. Like you've already lost. You've already lost, I'm telling you. Like if your mindset is still in a brick and mortar mindset, you've already lost. So that means you can't depend on just physical touch, physical products, physical services, physical locations. You have to convert those physical things into digital things. You've gotta learn how to take ideas and concepts and make them things. They have to become things in the digital world. Does that make sense? They have to become things in the digital world. So all this, what we see going on right now with the metaverse, with NFTs and with crypto, a lot of this is really early signs of how digital the world has actually become. And most people don't even understand and comprehend these things. Now I'm not an expert on NFTs and crypto and Bitcoin and a lot of the, the digital currency and these platforms. I'm not an expert. I know enough to know that they're, they're real in these platforms, but I, but, but, but I'm open to learn so that I can take what I actually do and convert what I do into things that can be housed on these platforms so that I can monetize, so that I can continue to move forward and progress with the digital world. You're gonna have to do the same. So it's not as weird and way out, you know, out of, out of bounds as you might think it is. It's just you might be stuck at a certain point in life or you might be stuck in a certain dimension of operation that is hindering you from moving forward. Because like, for example, let's say if you want to sell apparel, if in your mind you think you got to have a physical store to sell apparel, you've already lost. Like you've already lost. If you think, man, I just got to get a building to do this. You're, you're, you're tricking yourself in, into thinking that it is what it ain't. You don't live in that world no more. The truth is nobody's even going to be concerned about your physical location as much as you think. You get what I'm saying? Now, some physical locations are necessary. They have their place. But my point is just using that as an example to explain to you how familiarizing yourself with the most important technological platforms mean. Now, what are some other technological platforms? Well, we're talking about for your business. Think about for your business. Do you have technological platforms for your business? So what I mean by that is when I take a look at your business, if I wanted to see what your sales look like, if I wanted to see what your marketing activities look like, if I wanted to look at what your business operations look like, if I wanted to take a look at what your financial activities and forecasts and projections look like, do you have technological platforms that house this data? Do you have these 
these metrics? Do you have the analytics and the, and the information for these areas of your business housed in certain platforms? So if you can't go to certain applications or a certain software or, or certain technology or certain platforms and find data about these areas of your business, this is a sign that you have not done number four, which is familiarize yourself with the most important technological platforms. So it ain't just about social media, okay? But it's about your, your personal revenue, your, your personal marketing, your personal operations, your personal financials, and your businesses. Or if you're in ministry, your churches, your organizations is very, very important. So that's number four. Last but not least, number five, the fifth thing to do before 2023 is to join a mastermind or some type of mentorship coaching community period. This is the fifth thing you should do before 2023. Join a mastermind or mentorship coaching type community. Why should you do this? Well, number one, you should be doing it for accountability. Let me tell you something. My full-time jo job as a, as a CEO, as a business and financial consultant, even in ministry, the things that I do in ministry, my, my full-time job is to work with other leaders. So in ministry, that's who I work with. I work with leaders. I train leaders. I, I work with them, whether they build churches, build ministries, whether they work and serve in churches or ministries. I work with leaders in business. I work with entrepreneurs. I help people start and structure and scale their organizations, their systems, their processes. These are the things that we do here at Ramon Preston Enterprises, right? One of the biggest issues a lot of, I ain't gonna say most, I'm gonna just say one of the biggest issues a lot of leaders and entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people who wanna run businesses, one of the biggest issues they have, and you can agree, agree or disagree with me, but maybe you're one of those or you know one, one of the biggest issues leaders and entrepreneurs have is this, right here. One of the biggest issues they have. They're not accountable. So if they never succeed in business, nobody holds them accountable. If they never hit their targets, nobody holds them accountable. If they're never consistent, nobody holds them accountable. You know why nobody holds them accountable? Because they never put themselves in a community or in an ecosystem where they can be held accountable. Why? Because they don't want to be accountable. They want to do what they want to do and expect to be successful. That ain't how it works. I'm telling you, yes, I'm free to do the things I want to do, but I have healthy parameters around me through being held accountable. I've got mentors, I've got leaders, I've got spiritual leaders, I've got people who hold me accountable, not friends and family. I'm talking about a spiritual mother, a spiritual leader. I've got a business mentor. I've got people in my life. I've got professional consultants and experts that I work with that I pay to have in my life to hold me accountable. They become healthy parameters to make sure that I don't do something crazy, to make sure that I keep doing what I'm supposed to do to move forward, to make sure that I stay focused on the things that I'm setting out in my life to do. That's all accountability. And nobody's gonna hold you accountable unless you give them permission to. Ain't nobody gonna be around here like pulling your coattail every day and you don't want it. Nobody's gonna be chasing you down, beating your door down, trying to hold you accountable to be successful and to be free financially and to build a successful business and you're not welcoming it. You've got to accept that. And trust me, if you're a leader of a household, if you're a leader of a family, if you're a leader of a business, if you're a leader of a team, if you're a leader of a church, or if you're leading anything in anyone, 
you should show the people you're leading that you can be led, that you can be held accountable, that you can be told certain things to do so that you can show them you're humble and you're willing to get people to help you along the way. If you don't have accountability, I know it's hurting you. That's one of the biggest reasons why I am who I am today and where I am today. Because spiritually, professionally, financially, and personally, every area of my life, I'm held to a high level of accountability. And I need it, and not only do I need it, I want it. I welcome it because I'm willing to join. I'm willing to connect. And so one of the biggest benefits of joining a mastermind or some type of mentorship coaching community is accountability. But also, I'm gonna give you another word. Also, acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration is about speed. So think about it. If you are around people who have already accomplished <laughs> what you're just setting out to accomplish, do you think it's going to slow you down or speed you up? So if you want to be a millionaire and you get around a millionaire, do you think becoming a millionaire can happen quicker or slower? Come on, don't fool yourself. If you're around somebody who's accomplished something that you want to accomplish, do you think it's going to be easier and quicker for you to accomplish it being around them or not? Of course it is. And so if you're that entrepreneur that you're spinning your wheels, you're struggling mentally, you're lost, you don't really know how to get past these barriers and these blind spots and you've got pain points that are keeping you stuck. The missing link is accountability, acceleration through these types of communities. You got to learn to take advantage of what you have access to. Trust me, it works. I'm gonna give you a third reason or a third benefit to this. It's called ascension. It's called ascension. This is a powerful, <laughs> this is powerful. So think about it. Joining a mastermind or a mentorship coaching community, it gives you accountability. Most people don't want that. This is why they never do it. And I'm talking about people like entrepreneurs, business owners. You know, when I talk to business owners and entrepreneurs and they tell me, no, I ain't never been, I ain't never had no coach. I ain't, I ain't never had nobody to mentor me. Do you want it? Yeah, I want it, but no, nah, I'm not going to pay for it. Oh, okay. You don't want it because you don't want to be held accountable. But you're probably not as successful as you could be. Number two, acceleration. You, you're, you're able to move time out of the equation. What it will take you 10 years to do, you could do in a year when you're around the right people. It's accelerated, okay? And number three, ascension. Ascension is when you move up. So what happens is, when, what, what happens is you might have heard people say it who get, get married. Like, you know, somebody will say, oh, you married somebody? Yeah, I got married. And they'll say, oh, you married up. So the fact that you married somebody of that caliber, it ascended you. It moved you up. So what happens is when you're not around these kind of people, you don't have the mindset those kind of people have and you don't attract those kind of people. So getting around people who are successful, it actually ascends you. It pulls you up. You will not pull successful people down if you're not successful. Trust me on that. I'm around successful people and I pay the price to be around successful people. And I put a lot on the line. I've given up a lot to be around successful people and I am a successful person and I'll be one of the first successful people to tell you, ain't no losers and failures hanging around me and nobody that I know who is succeeding. And I say that with confidence and I say that with boldness and assurance because I paid a price to get to who I am and to, to where I am. So I have the right to say that, whether people like it and agree with it or not. But you need to go up. You need to go up. And so I wanna challenge you to take me up on this because everything I just shared with you that you need to do, all five things before this year is out, before you get into 2023, you can do it with the help and the, and the assistance of people who've already figured it out. When it comes to a financial plan, I have courses, I have training, I have, I have coaching and, and, and programs to help you step-by-step step put a financial plan together. 
when it comes to starting a business, we have entire courses and programs that are set up to show you how to start and structure holding companies, operating companies, how to build them out. Okay, if you need that information, if you need that support and that help, we've got the information, we've got the support, we've got the help, we've got the resources uh, for you. Let's say if you wanna learn recession-proof skills like sales and marketing. Well, this is what we do here. We teach these principles and these concepts. We show you how to integrate these principles and concepts into your business. We actually have courses on sales and marketing and show you how to create your sales programs, your sales processes, your marketing campaigns, so that you can start getting the attention you need for your business and ultimately making the conversions. Number four was to familiarize yourself with the most important technological platforms. I'm not the best at technology, but I know enough about technology to stay in the game. That's why you see me showing up. I know how to play the game enough to see to it that me and my family and my company and my community can continue to garner the attention we need, make the money we need, and move forward so that we can build successful organizational enterprises. So all of this information, all these resources we have available for you, but again, you gotta make the move. Can't nobody make you do something you don't wanna do, you're not willing to do. So if you want it and you're willing to accept it and you know the education, the training, the accountability, the acceleration, the lift up is necessary for you, for your children, for your family, for your household, for your business, for your organization. Let's just cut to the, to the, to the main point. You need to call this number, period. Call that number or just text. You do whatever you feel is easier. You text millionaire. You could text or call. Text millionaire to that number or call that number and here's what's gonna happen. When you call that number, we're gonna answer the, the, the call. We always answer the call. When you text millionaire to that number, we're going to return that text with a call. Either way, you're gonna be able to talk to a real person here at my company, okay? We have millionaire concierge. We have people who are always available. You can literally text this number at any time of the day. I'm not saying you're gonna get an immediate response if it's three in the morning. Maybe you will, depending on where we at and what we are doing. But for the most part, throughout the business days, you're gonna always get a response, you're gonna always get a call back, or you're gonna get an answer. And here's what we're gonna do. We're going to find out with, within just a few minutes of talking to you, what exactly do you want to accomplish? And we're gonna help you see what it's going to take to get that accomplished. You probably already know what you need. You probably watch me enough to know, I need to be on his training program, I need to be educated, I need to be mentored, I need to be, you probably already have the answers, you're just unwilling or reluctant to make the decision. Listen, we can walk you through that process as well. Sometimes you need people to help you talk your way into success, and I don't have a problem doing it, but you have to be willing to at least call or text millionaire to that number, and we'll work with you in that process to get you on the right program, to get you the right support, to get you the right help, so that we can get you to where you're supposed to be. Listen, it's about 14 weeks remaining in this year. Don't let this year be a wash. A lot of people already writing off uh, 2022. I'm not. I understand when people say, oh, I can't wait to 2023. 2023 gonna be my year. That's cool, I understand it, but 2022 is still my year. I can't wait to continue to crush it today. I'm not moving myself into a new year without doing what I know I can do this year. So you've got 14 weeks. You can get a lot done if you put yourself in that position and put yourself in play. So we've got the training, we've got the education, we have done a lot of the hard work for the last 19 years to figure out what is the best way to go from zero to a million. All right, so if you're looking at doing anything in between, I have the information, I have the resources, I have the strategies, I have the solutions, I have the education, the training, and I've got the experience and the proof that it all works. So what you need to do is call or text millionaire to 
478 seven two one three we're here at the office waiting for your call waiting for your text we want to help you not just start not just structure but scale your business your finances and your life to the next level thank you for joining me today on the ramon preston show be sure to leave in the comments your biggest takeaway let me know what your biggest takeaway was from today's show put it in the comments Whatever your biggest takeaway was, please leave it in the comments. I would love to know. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page as well. Follow me on other platforms. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and of course, YouTube, all at Ramon Preston, all at Ramon Preston. Be sure to follow, be sure to like, share, be sure to invite others to join our community and definitely be sure to reach out to us so that we can help you scale your life, your business, and your finances to the next level. I'll be back here tomorrow, same place, same time, 12 o'clock noon Eastern, right here on the Ramon Preston Show.